Alright everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today, Jacob DeGrom finally got paid. He will be with the Mets for the next five years with one of the newest contract extensions going around Major League Baseball. Cole Hamels also got one of the Chicago Cubs, but we're not going to be talking about him today. Um, Jacob DeGrom, he has been on the hunt for contract extension, or at least his agent says so. He really wanted to continue his career with the Mets. Uh, and we kind of heard various things this offseason talking about potential limitations to the amount of innings he's going to pitch if he doesn't get a contract in 2019. That is no longer a problem, thank goodness, because DeGrom is amazing. Um, and just other things, you know, sporadically he would be asked questions either during spring training games or after uh, good performances in spring training this offseason about the whole contract extension scenario. When we've seen great guys... Uh, you know, get these contract extensions that they deserve. But that was, of course, after the fact of all of these uh, conferences and everything. But we have Mike Trout, Nolan Arenado, Chris Sale, Blake Snell. The list keeps going on and on. Eloy Jimenez got one just the other day. He hasn't even played a major league baseball game in his career yet. So Jacob DeGrom deserves one. And we have a look at all of his numbers throughout his entire career so far, starting from 2014 up until currently uh, regular season. I really like Brody Van Wagenen's attempts of going ahead and trying to win. He seems like he is passionate about this, which he should be. And I think that's kind of something that the Mets have been lacking lately. Before he came in and kind of took things over, it was that like hope, that spark of energy and excitement and optimism and now that they have that they have created a very good team that has a significant chance of making it pretty far this season i'm really excited to see this the nl east division itself is going to be a crazy race between the phillies uh the braves the mets you have a whole bunch of teams over there that are looking to go and accomplish the same thing and that's a world series title so Going into the Jacob DeGrom stats here, in 2014, this was his rookie season, he appeared in 22 games with 9 wins and 6 losses, holding a 2.69 ERA. So not bad as a rookie, you know, the nerves, you get probably all scared and nervous, and his 2014 stats were better than some of his other seasons uh, up until this point, but didn't really play in as many games. In 2015, he had 30 games in which he appeared in with a 14-8 and record and a 2.54 ERA. Going to 2016, 24 games, a 7-8 and record and a 3.04 ERA. Um, that was really the only time his record was below 500 uh, as a pitcher. And that's not bad. I'm pretty sure 2016 was the year he was a little injured. That was coming off of the World Series appearance uh, against the Royals, which the Royals won back in 2015. Um, and then in 2017, he played in 31 games with a 15 and 10 record, but the ERA was a little high, 3.53, the highest it's ever been in his career. Um, that was really the only thing that kind of held anything back from him in 2017. Those numbers were just a little bit high, but the win-loss record was really good. And the games pitched, not bad either. 31 games, the second most he's played in a season. His most was in 2018. He appeared in 32 games with a 10-9 and record and a 1.70 ERA. That ERA is disgusting. Sub two, that is amazing as a pitcher. That That's crazy. That's really good. Um... 10-9 record. That's the only problem that a lot of people have with Jacob DeGrom last year. But you have to take into account that he was not responsible for those nine losses. Uh, there might have been some games where he gave up a couple more runs than he should have. But it was all pretty much boiling down to the offense for the Mets not being able to go ahead and score runs and produce hits when they needed to for DeGrom on the mound. So... They did not really play the best offensively necessarily, and that's why he lost. Not because he gave up five runs a game, six runs a game. You know, every outing, he was very good. 1.70 ERA. I mean, he deserved the Cy Young, and he got it, so everyone was very happy. Going into that, we're going to talk about his awards that he has gotten in his career so far. He has won the Rookie of the Year in 2014. He was an All-Star in 2018 end in 2015, and he won the Cy Young last year uh, at the end of 2018. In his career, he has racked up exactly 1,000 strikeouts in five seasons. That is an awful lot, and this guy, if you couldn't already tell from the numbers, just disgusting. You guys know him. You guys have seen him play and pitch. 
really good. Uh, and then in his career, he's only given up 76 total home runs. Uh, it's averaging 19 a season. So I don't know what the average or like the normal is for uh, pitchers nowadays, but for him, that's not bad. Uh, especially, you know, he's all over the place nationally. He goes to Coors Field and all these other places where it might be a little easier to hit home runs. Uh, but that's, you know, not an excuse or anything. That's just saying that he hasn't given up a whole lot. Um, we didn't even talk about the contract extension, I don't think. $137.5 million through the 2023 season. That's five seasons for Jacob deGrom. Uh, with the New York Mets, 137.5 million again is the number. There is a full no trade clause, so he cannot be traded uh, while in the middle of this contract, which I really like because I love Degrom. I love him as a Met. Mets fans really wanted to see him on the team uh, for the long run, and Jacob Degrom wanted that same idea and that same future for himself and that's what he's getting and i'm really excited about that so again the contract extension is worth 137.5 million dollars through the 2023 season so including 2019 that is five years with the mets um jacob de much like every other player on the list of people who have gotten contract extensions this season has definitely deserved it i'm sure in 2019 his numbers will be amazing again just like 2018 uh the era might not necessarily be below two. I think that's very hard to obtain. Uh, and especially now with him facing the Phillies, who have a completely stacked offensive lineup. Um, you know, with everyone they've added this season, it might be a little higher. It might not be. Who knows? Uh, time will tell. Opening day is two days away, guys. I cannot wait. I hope you all enjoyed this video. That's going to end it. If you didn't, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.